Hi everybody, I wanna share a new feature in Google Classroom that just rolled out, and it's the integration of Google Meet video conferencing with your classroom. If you look at my header right here in this classroom, there's a hyperlink that will take students right to a Google Meet video conference. So I'm gonna show you how you can add that to your header and um, some of the features that go along with that. So you're gonna to go to your settings wheel over here. I just clicked it. And up comes the settings for the classroom. The new feature that shows up is right here, Google Meet. And so um, you can get more information here, but I just wanna show you how this works. This is the hyperlink that would take you to a Google Meet session. The cool feature here, I think, is that this drop down allows you to reset that link. So you can change the link so that students can't re-enter and use the same link over and over again. To make this link visible for students, you have to have this um, visible to students toggled on. So right now it's off, I, I want it on. And if I wanted to, again, change that link, create a new session, I just hit reset right here. So now I'm out here, this link has changed because I've reset it. Um, students have access to this. Now, it's not a good idea to leave this up there because students could enter that uh, session whenever they, they wanted. So the way that I would do this would be probably something like this. I would post in the stream that we were going to have a meeting. Um, and so you can see I've put a message in here. Google meet today at 3 p.m. Be ready to discuss the reading assigned yesterday. Meeting link will be visible in header. And then I click post. So in the post here, there's no link to anything. And it's up to me to turn this switch on. So what I would do is in my settings, I would make this not visible right now. And so you can see there's nothing up here. The message is still here. I posted it at 930. Google meet today at 3 p.m. Be ready to discuss the reading assigned yesterday. Meeting link will be visible in header. So as the teacher now, um, if it's you know closer to three o'clock, about 10 to three, five minutes to three, I'm gonna go join that session and I can copy that link. That's what I'm doing right now. And I can, uh, in one of my tabs, I can just paste the URL. And I'm just doing this for myself because I wanna be the first one in the class uh, into the session. So now here I am, I have that opportunity here to join the classroom. I can get, you know, mute, mute my microphone, do whatever I need to do to get ready. Um, there is a code here too, but I don't need any of this. I'm just gonna join. And then I'm gonna go back to my classroom here. And if it's a few minutes before that session is supposed to start, I'll turn this switch on. All right, now I'm back on my classroom stream page. I have the hyperlink. That means I want kids to click on it and it's time for that meeting. So I'm gonna go to that session. And here I am in the session and I'm just waiting for students to join. Here comes a student, there he is. And I, now that I have a student in here, I just wanted to show you a few of the teacher controls. So I'm gonna go up to the, the people in the session. And now you can see I have a down arrow and so this gives me a few options. I could pin this uh, user to the screen if I wanted. Um, but the two things that I think that uh, are most important would be the mute. So I'm gonna mute this student. Not that I ever condone muting, but I'm going to. So it gives me this notice, I'm going to mute him. And now, um, you see there's less of an echo probably in this recording because he's not very far away from me. But uh, his microphone has a slash through it that shows me that he has been muted. Now I can't unmute him. He could unmute himself. Go ahead and do that. Unmute yourself. So there he unmuted himself. So, you know, the feature has some utility, but it's not a permanent fix to mute anybody. So I'm muting him again. Now this last one here is important because in order for this to, this to work so that students can't rejoin the session, 
you have to be the last one in the session and so you basically need to ask students to leave if they don't leave you can remove them um, so this is the remove button so again not that i ever condone removing a student especially this student but i'm going to for the purpose of this video so i'm going to remove him hit remove and now i'm the only one in the session so as the teacher there's no one in here um, and the session is over i would go back to my classroom and turn this off so that students couldn't rejoin in fact what i would do at this point is i would reset the link so that link is no longer uh, good and i would turn the switch off click save and now i um, feel a lot better about a student's ability to rejoin a session without uh, staff supervision. So hopefully this video helps. I know it's not a perfect solution and fixed, but I think that um, it's a, a step in the right direction.